Yo, yo, what is happening guys? It's Squiz and welcome to the part 6 of Daenerys Targaryen playthrough. In the last episode, we had taken Volantis over completely. We hired Aegon Targaryen as well, so we've got both Targaryens in this playthrough now. And I gave him a dragon because he is a Targaryen, he needs a dragon. But anyways, uh, in today's episode, we are going to try and take out Merith, if that's how you pronounce it. And we're going to pre pretty much... Take out Marith. We're going to ignore Dawn. We're going to leave them to it to do what they're doing because they are at war with them as well. And we're just going to move up north and we're going to move towards Pentos afterwards. So I'm not 100% I'm not sure if we're actually going to take out the Marish today. But we will definitely be conquering their lands. Now, we're already at war with them, so that's a start. Uh, we can just head straight over there now and attack them. So let's do it. Let's just recruit some more troops. Uh, none in here to recruit. Do we need to trade anything? No, we don't need to trade anything. All right, let's head over to here. All right, it looks like we're just going to have to besiege. Can we create an army, by the way? Might just hire these three then. I think that should be good for now. And we will besiege Merith. If that's how you pronounce it. Like I said, guys, I may be pronouncing words wrong. Right, let's besiege this town. They've got 500 defenders. Holy crap. So one's at war with us. Oh, we've got a rebel. Well, hold on. Got a rebellion somewhere. Yeah, Volantis. Uh, Volan has rebelled. Let's go back and defend this rebellion. Looks like all our armies are going back to take on this rebellion. Alright, we'll stop besieging. Might as well just send the troops right now. I only lost three from my party. We've gained three troops anyways. Bunch of upgrades. Don't know what we need, so we're just going to go random. We need more infantry, I believe. Show mercy. We'll decline it. Give it someone else. Uh, recruit troops. Only recruit one. Trade. We'll trade all our loot. Nice. And we'll leave. And look at Aegon's dragon right there. That's brilliant. <laughs> Aegon Targaryen can have it. Volantis is no more. We have taken out Volantis. All right, we'll take on these hideouts. That could be the reason why the uh, Volan and Repel rebels. Nice. And we've got another companion off this hideout. All right, done them two hideouts. We'll besiege this settlement. Oh, there's a Valer. There's, there's another rebellion. No, oh, we'll just send the troops in. Why not? Well, well, then we'll sort this rebellion out. Besiege sound. Oh man, a thousand. We're not going to get into a battle at any time soon. I don't think. Oh yeah, joking. Joking's with us. Yeah, let's accept it. Why not? Joking's got married. Nice. Alright, we'll just send in the troops. Why not? It does look like the Dornish have risen back against. It does look like the Dornish have taken this side of this river. We're going to try and take this side and leave the Dornish border here. Right here. Oh, they've got a lot of people in this settlement. We might actually. Oh, Lorath is breaking alliance with us. Okay. Right, both the walls are destroyed. Just destroy that last catapult. There we go. Let's lead an assault. This is the first battle, guys. First battle of the episode. Chopped his hand off. Is a nice watch? Oh gosh. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm dead. Oh no. That was... That was ridiculous. A lot of green though, there's a lot of green, this is a good sign. 
Now breaking down the walls did help. Did help. Got some reinforcements now coming in as well. A lot of green, I'm liking it. And there we have it. An easy siege. Unfortunately I died then. I rushed in so much, then a lot of their troops come back. But yeah. Damn. I did fall. You're my prisoner now. I'll just get some random troops. We'll recruit them all. Why not? We need some more troops in the army. Uh, show me, sir. Uh, we'll decline it. Recruit troops. There's nothing to recruit. We'll trade all our stuff in now. And we'll leave. I just don't want the Dornish to take control of any of these settlements, which... They're not, they're not, they have, they've taken that one. They've taken the last one, actually. Oh, look, look, so. Faction Novos, the culture is done, so the culture mod is working. That's changed to his culture of Valerian as well, nice. They're all changing to Valerian culture. Sweet. Vale uh, that says Valantis culture still. So, Marish, oh, pretty much no more. The Dornish seem a big threat. Uh, there's a rebellion somewhere. Well, who, who's who's besieging this? Oh, Marith's got a bit uh, a rebellion. Oh no, this. Yep, you can have it. John Connington. Oh, what are you guys doing? We don't need to battle this. Send the troops. Nice. Got 15 troops. Bunch of prisoners. It's upgrade. Nice. Yeah, we need to take on this rebellion back though. Alright, we're gonna have to send the troops. Cohesion's going down. Dornish, uh, war with Novos. They've just taken that and they're taking that. Dornish, Jesus Christ. Oh, did they get this back? God damn it. The Dornish are apps. They're in our way. Dornish are in our way. If you look at the Dornish, they are absolutely invading Essos. They've got all these islands as well. Obviously, Tyrosh uh, has got a rebellion there. But the Dornish, they are looking scary. They go all the way from here, from the south, up here. They go pretty much all this desert bit here, all down here, all down here. The Dornish are looking scarier. They're getting in our way as well. So who's taking the veil? Oh damn! The veil. The veil are invading Essos as well. This changes everything, guys. This changes everything. The veil and the Dornish have just it decided to invade Essos. The Dornish are in the way. The veil at hundred percent in the way. To get to Dragonstone, we need to cross this path. Oh, it's a struggle to decide what's going to happen. It really is a struggle. Kingdoms, diplomacy, uh, how str what strength wise is Dornish? Oh, we've actually got a bigger strength than the Dornish. I think we might have to attack the Dornish, you know, guys. Yeah, guys, we're going to we're going to we're going to attack the, the Dornish. We're going to we're going to do what we do, raid a settlement, take hostile action, raid the village, continue end raiding. Now we're at war with the Dornish. Dornish are a big threat, but if we can push them back out out of Estra, uh, Essos, then that would be great. Unfortunately, we're going to leave our settlements defenseless at some point. So it's going to be back and forth because they are really, really strong. Let's just see how many defenders they've got. I might regret this, to be honest. 200 defenders. You know what? Let's take it. Oh, it's an army. So... Tell me who I am. The Dornish are here. They have come to defend their settlement. We are going to take this fight on. We will fight to our last drop of blood. Let's attack this. We we are outnumbered. Massively. So, Drogon is going to have to do his thing. the hill. Go on, horsemen. Attack them horse archers. Pull back. Soldier, 
Kill them all, Drogon. Kill them all. Help our infantry out. I've got to do it, guys. I've got to use Rogan in this battle. Their infantry is just absolutely destroying our infantry. Infantry discharge. Why not? Infantry got a shield walls going line more for me in a shield. Alright, let's get to their archers now. Jorgon's hungry. He wants food. Jorgon is hungry. Drogon's actually nearly dead, to be fair. And we've always won this battle because of Drogon. But you guys wanted more dragon action, so I'm giving you dragon action. He can defeat armies by himself. Nice. I'm gonna go another companion. I you enough. I give up. I enough. I give up. Is that? Well, they've only got two troops. We'll take this settlement then. John Coddington's getting everything. He's getting everything. Oh, it looks like we've just won a battle as well against the Dornish. Our Aegon Targaryen's got an army. Stormfist has got an army. Dario Naharis, if that's how you pronounce his name, has got an army. Basically, I want these guys to go up north and try and take stuff up north of the... Uh, Dornish. Basically, I want them to take this. Then we can go on to the Pentos. And it looks like the Dornish have got a rebellion down here as well. Yeah, let's let's just move on. Let's carry on. Let's move on. Oh, no. yep, we've taken a settlement. Yep, you can have it, dude. Nice. Nice, guys. We could take on this little castle here. We might as well while we're here. How many defenders has it got? 250. Oh, there are two of these armies. How many people have they got an army? 300 and 900 troops. Aegon's got a big army for us. Nice. What's not Harris's army like as well? That's got 900 troops. Jesus, man. Holy crap. Yes. Nice. Just take out this and the northern bit of the Dornish Empire has been taken. Well, the north to us has been taken. Then what we can do, we'll try and 
make peace with them after we've basically conquered uh, these two settlements. We could do that. So let's attack this. They've also got lease as well. We'll actually take this as well. Completely forgot about this bit as well of the uh, map. So we'll do this. We'll take that. We'll take this. And we'll take the Tree of Crowns. Let's besiege. And what we'll do, we will... Oh, there's an army coming? Stop there. Okay. Yeah. We'll fight to our lost trap. Let's tag this. It's quite even. Apparently their balance of power is a bit more than us. Alright, I'm gonna try and attack. I'll try and attack, take out their archers with, with Drogon. Drogon's hungry. Looks like our infantry is losing. Yeah, our infantry is actually lost. Eat them, Drogon. Eat them. Nice. Yeah, everyone's to attack now. We're in the winning stages of this fight. And it's all because of Dragon. Nom nom nom. Oh, he's getting it. Nom nom nom. Drogon's hungry. That was a lord as well. Alright, we've hit his horse. He's gonna get absolutely killed now. Nice, we've got another companion as well. We'll continue with the siege. Alright, we might have to leave. We'll leave this siege. And what we'll do, we'll actually go back down here to recruit some more troops. Oh, we've taken another settlement. Guys, you're doing bits. My armies are doing bits against the Dornish. I'm glad I actually taken on the Dornish now as well. Except. Congratulations, friend. Congratulations. Um, yeah, it looks like we have taken out the Dornish threat. The, the veil, though. They are absolutely going ham. In Essos at the moment as well, so we've taken this up here with two of our big armies with 900 troops, 300 troops, and we've got another army down here as well, which has got 900, nearly a thousand troops. Um, I think we should just take these three on and then make peace with the Dornish, just kick them out of Essos. 
Like a little donut. You can't you can't be an Essos. I need to make my ways north to to Dragonstone. But the Vale is gonna be a big, 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 big faction to take on as well. It's gonna be a really big faction to take on. But guys, I think that is the end of the episode as I've got not not as I've got not enough time to carry on. So guys, if you have liked this episode and let me know in the comments where you want me to go, you want me to take on the Dornish, then go up north and do my original plan, taking on Pentos, then taking on the Veil that have taken over Pentos. And once we've taken, destroyed the Veil, we'll go over and we'll need to take Dragonstone. But we'll take this bit first, go down here, then take Dragonstone. For now, guys, please like, leave a comment for the algorithm. It does mean a lot if you leave a comment, so please make sure you do. And if you're new around here, please subscribe and just give it a like and a comment. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.